What's up guys, welcome back. As you feast your eyes on some amazing Persona 5 footage, let me start off by asking you a question. How many of you are using cheat codes? And I'm not talking about Persona 5 specifically, but cheat codes in general. Personally, I'm not much of a cheater. I, I simply like a challenge and anyways, it's too much of a hassle to find the cheat codes and then, you know, insert them or whatever. But I vividly remember using cheat codes way back in the day playing the first Sims games. You know, it was very hard managing that game and at the same time earn money and spend it. So, you know, using a code or two to earn some more money was commonplace. I also remember playing GTA Vice City on the PC and using quite a few cheat codes there. But other than that, I can't, I can't recall. Oh yes, yes. I was also a proud owner of a Game Shark for the Nintendo 64. You remember when you inserted that Game Shark, which had that shape of a cartridge, and then you plug in the cartridge on top of that, and you could just browse whatever cheat codes you wanted to use. I, I actually did use that a fair amount. But other than that, I can't really recall using cheat codes at all. So when I was invited to check out Plitch, I was quite surprised, really. I'm not much of their audience, but at the same time, I was interested in seeing what it has to offer for you, maybe, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. So here we are at the website of Plitch, Plitch.com. And the slogan runs, start pledging, stop cheating. Very interesting, because essentially it's still a cheating platform, but hey, go figure that one. Um, but they say they call themselves a premium trainer software for single player PC game cheats. Um, that's, that's very interesting. So what it essentially boils down to is you can use these cheats, but only single player, and as far as I know, only offline. You can download it for Windows, uh, but it's also, let me scroll down here, it's also available on Android. So, um, have at it. I've only checked it out on uh, Windows, and as far as I can tell, yes, it's it's fun, if you enjoy cheating, that is. Uh, fair, well, it's, well, let's not go into the fairness, but it surely is fast. It, it works fast, the way it's set up is, is quite convenient, so... Why would you use this? Well, that, that's basically the essence of cheating, right? You want to use a cheat code, then you either go online and start browsing with all the risks of installing malware in your system and all that stuff. So why you use Plitch is because it's essentially a legal certified platform which lets you run cheats that are uh, verified across the board. So you can add cheats yourself, you can request for cheat codes, and you can use them um, as per your liking. So you can see some of the, the newest games here. You can see Buy a Mutant, they have 34 codes for that one. Uh, Models Phoenix Rising, 14 codes. So the thing is, these are the codes that you have access to if you have a premium account. Now let me switch to the um, Plitch app. I've installed it right here. This is the home screen. And you can see in the top left corner that I am enjoying a premium account as part of the review, here you can see the different plans that you can enjoy. So you can go for the free option, completely fine, works with all the games, but you have a limited selection of codes. I would suggest you first start out by checking that and see if there's any, any part of the codes that you don't have access to that you actually would want to, and then you can start looking into these kind of plans. But I'll let, that, uh, I'll let you decide for that stuff. But the big thing here is that you don't have access to um, support if you don't have a premium account as far as I know. So here you have the support. I haven't put in any tickets because I, well, not much in need of it. And you can see there's a pretty active forum. You can put a request here. You can discuss other options. Um, see, I can't open a game. Some basic stuff also here, but also uh, more in depth about the code system itself. You can simply browse for the games, see Neo 2, you see some of the pretty big games here. And you can also just uh, search for your game either here or there. And let's say, I'm interested in Guilty Gear. There we have Guilty Gear Strive, Guilty Gear Overture. Um, unfortunately, not the XRD. That's a shame. I could put in a request though. Might do that. And once you have found what you want and you want to start that, you want to make that one of your favorites, 
you can check out all of those under that tab. So I've added Guilty Gear Strive, really like that game. Kingdom Deliverance, uh, recently won that in a, in a giveaway. That was, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Metro Exodus Enhanced, uh, nice game. Just check it out. And Persona 5 Strikers by Atlas. Today I'm going to show you how it works uh, playing both Guilty Gear Strive and Persona 5 Strikers. Hence the little introduction of Persona 5. Over here you can see this is the last uh, cheating system I used uh, playing Guilty Gear Strive. So you can see there are different options, right? These are all the different um, cheat codes that at least you have access to if you have a premium account. Right now I can't tell which you would have access to if you have a free account. You can change the shortcuts if you want to. I think uh, I'm, I'm mostly, mostly using these and that's perfectly fine left shift and f1 f2 or 3 you can check out what community has to say about it basically saying hey guys we're up it's on a to-do list we're checking it out and once you have found what you want say say let's let's start off with some uh, persona 5 strikers right so you have this the first thing you have to do with any game once you've opened it up is hit that prepare button that activates the input options of your cheat codes and in, the way you can answer, answer these cheat codes is either by switching the tab between your game and uh, Plitch app and simply press the play button. That activates it. Or you use the, the shortcut while you're in the game. So let's start by playing some Persona 5 Strikers. Alright, so here we are in one of the battles. There's, there's a lot of story going on here, but let's fight. And you can see they don't really drop within the single hit, right? Yeah, I have to hit them quite a few times and we have ammo. Um, that's always nice to have limited ammo, but how about we try to maximize that ammo by getting it up to 99. There's something wrong here. Let's try that again. 99. There we go. It's fully up. And then we move into a cutscene. Cutscene is nice though. Alright, so instead of using a shortcut this time around, let's switch to the Plitch app and just hit the activation button on that end. So look it up on the right side, we see easy kills under AI and hit the play button. There we go, switch back. And now once we start smashing it up, there we go. They drop like flies. <laughs> Very nice. So you can see it works really fast. It's both intuitive in terms of shortcuts as well as being able to just check it out in the app. Overview and all. Even if you have forgotten the, cheat, uh, the shortcuts, for example, just hit that play button and get back into your game and enjoy it. Now let's go ahead and check out Guilty Gear Strive. You know, coincidentally, this also gives me an opportunity to showcase the first two DLC characters for Guilty Gear Strive, recently revealed by Arc System Works. I'm going with Kai Kisk. I like this guy, easy to handle, and I'm fighting Jack O, love of uh, Soul Bad Guy. I mean, if you haven't checked out this story mode yet and you don't own the game, you can find it online. I think it's even on YouTube. Just check it out because it's gorgeously animated and story is quite quite nicely executed really check it out jack o one of the protagonists in this this story actually she has a bigger role than kai kisk you could you could argue but anyways let's let's just beat her up she does look really nice though a nice outfit and she has this mask which makes her look like kind of a freak i like it nice design Weirdo. Alright, so let's start using some codes. Let's use the tension. Up oh, there we go. Back to maximum, using that. And now we have a fight on our hands, yes. I'd like to showcase that um, health, back to full health, but I don't think this is a fight for it. Nah, I'm, I'm actually losing myself in the fight there. <laughs> let's just, let's just, finish. oh, oh, let's block that one. There we go, missed it. Let's, let's make this a quick finish. She's not giving me much resistance. Oh, there we go. Over. 
Slap. またいつでもお相手しますカイウィンズ Now、let's check out the other new DLC character. He's an absolute powerhouse. I'm going with my own powerhouse, Nagori Yuki.、Um, he's just awesome. I'm fighting Gold Lewis Dickinson, the Secretary of Absolute Defense. And that, that guy is, is solid. He moves slower than anything. He's, he's the slowest moving character in the game, I think. And I, I tried using him. Don't really like it. He doesn't have much reach. No speed, but he does have power and,、uh, and, and quite a lot of、um, stamina. He, he can take some hits. But all the same, let's, let's beat him up. Here we go. Oh, thank you for that introduction.、Uh, let's, let's just take some hits, shall we? Let's, let's beat him. Let's just take some hits, right? So let's get him riled up. Let's take some hits.、So、we can see that health bar draining up. There we go. You can see he hit hard. There we go again. Yo. Taking that as a man. Another one, please. Oh, oh, oh. oh didn't account for that one. Ah, okay. That's a close one. Up.、Oh, back to full health. Okay, and now, and now we have a fight on our hands. Come on. Let's go. He's actually quite annoying. Some shadow strikes. Some... Damn. We hit hard too, but he's. Oh! Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Now let's quickly dash in for the count. There we go. I have to be careful with this, this drains my own health.、Uh, I don't want to use that code again. Let's just use a flash tap, perhaps. Flash tap and a punch. Ah,、oh, he blocked that one. Yeah, kick. Ah, nice. Gut swing. That was a close one. <laughs> This time, I'm guessing.、Oh. Can I go for that tension, right? Use that tension cheek?、Oh. Oh, I might not need it. This one, I'll just go for a pure one. There we go. Flash tap. Ah! Got him. And in style. Nice. You see, we can, we can still win without using codes. You know? that, that's still a thing. But of course, if you want to, be my guest. I think the platform is quite nice. The app looks fine. Let's switch back to that screen once more. You can check out the different games. Very easily, it has、uh, all these tabs, right? You can check out. Ah,、oh, there we go, the free cheats. So, if you have no、uh, paid account, you can check out, you can just browse、um, whatever it is you're getting access to.、Oh, I'm not sure why these images are not loading. It's weird. Anyways, different filters, right? So, I think it's very intuitive. You can browse any way you want. And it has a ton of codes here. So I guess there's always something for you to enjoy. If you don't enjoy codes, then, well, be my guest and pass on this offer. If you are interested, though, be sure to drop a comment in the section down below. Let me know which game you are looking forward to using some codes. Maybe you've had some experience, you want to share that. Any event, hit that like button if you have enjoyed this little review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.